Hello, in this video we're going to look at the uniform convergence of differentiable functions and show that that sequence of differentiable functions, if it's uniformly convergent to a, another function f, then that f is also a differentiable function. Now there's three background videos, uh, BV1, background video 1, sequences of functions and pointwise and uniform convergence, BV2 is uniform convergence of continuous functions and BV3 is the uniform convergence of Riemann integrable functions. Now the theorem, it's a little more involved. In the previous theorems, we only needed pointwise and uniform convergence for these properties to transfer to its limiting uh, function, but here we need, we need more for differentiable function. And basically what it means is you know, since differentiable is the um, it's the slope at any point, you know, on a on a graph, we can still be really close. Our sequence of functions can be really close to another function, but but the the derivative or the slope of those can be so crazy, you know, of the limiting functions to our, you know, uh, to the the limit that they're, they, they can still be way off. I don't know if that made any sense, but I probably should have drew a picture of that. Uh, the theorem is that we have a sequence of functions that are all differentiable functions on some set, you know, A to B, call it D, subset of the real numbers, and suppose that for all n, we have the following. That the first derivative of, of each of our uh, f of n is continuous. Now, technically, this is an optional statement but it sure does make the proof a lot easier and maybe I'll prove it later without this but for this we're going to assume it. Uh, for some x not in our set D that f of n at that point we have you know we have pointwise convergence to f. Uh, the sequence uh, f of n the prime or this is the, first, the derivative of our uh, f of n's it converges uniformly on D. Then the limit of our the derivative of our sequence is equal to the derivative of the limit. So basically we can pass that limit under the derivative. This for all x and d. So a quick little proof is let f of n prime converge uniformly to something. So and that's part of what it says. That's a given. So we're going to call it g prime on d. That's what it converges to. Now using background video 2, uh, uniform convergence continuous functions on f of n prime, remember that was condition 1 that we said was optional but it makes the proof a little bit easier, then f of n converges to f. Um, because f of n is continuous, Actually, it requires BV3, too. So since, since this is continuous, it converges to some, the, some function f prime. And then, um, but the, since it's Riemann integrable functions, then we can also show that f of n converges to f. So it actually requires both BV2 and BV3. Um, then this is just a property. This is nothing fancy. f of n x is equal to this point times the integral of this. And there's a tick right there. So then when you take the antiderivative and plug in x minus the, you know, plug in that, then those cancel and we're left with this, of course, equals that. Now, by the this property, f of n converges to f uniformly. So that converges to this this converges to, um, and that should be an x naught right there, then um, and then by this property that it converges to something, you know, g naught, so this converges to g naught, and these are by property 2 up here, and uh, bv3. Then if we take the, the derivative of this here, we get f prime, and this with respect to x, so this is constant, and then you take the antiderivative, and then the derivative, you get this. So 
uh, f prime of x is equal to g prime of x. But, and so what that says is that the limit in functions of f of m prime is equal to f prime x, but this is really saying that the, it's the limiting functions of, of f of m, the derivative of the limiting functions. And that's what we wanted to show. Well, that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.